Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about preparation of buffers and pH measurement and determine the pK of weak acid that is citric acid. First, determination of pK of weak acid that is citric acid we are using. Coming to the theory part, pK means negative logarithm of dissociation constant that is Ka. So, weak acids will dissociate as HA in presence of water H3O hydronium ion and A minus. So, weak acids are not completely dissociated. So, there is a equilibrium. So, then as per the law of mass action K dissociation is equal to concentration of hydrogenium ion concentration of A minus divided by concentration of acid. Okay. So, here we are not considering the water because water is not as such concentration. It will not affect the rate of the reaction. Then pK is equal to negative logarithm of dissociation constant where P means negative log. The acidity of a compound can be known by its pK value. Lesser the value of pKa, stronger is the acid and greater the value of pK is the weaker is the acid. Now coming to the principal part, the pK of weak acid can be determined by using its buffers. That is here we are using citric acid and sodium citrate. So for that we have to prepare a set of buffers and measure the pH of the buffer. So, coming to the procedure, first we have to prepare citric acid that is 0.25 molar. So, for that you have to dissolve 5.26 gram of citric acid monohydrate in 100 ml of volumetric glass and dilute to 100 ml with dis distilled water. For calculation of 0.25 molar, so you require molecular weight that is 210.12. Similarly, prepare stock solution of sodium citrate 0.25 molar. So for that, you have to dissolve 7.35 gram of sodium citrate in 100 ml of distilled water and make up the volume to 100 ml. So, molecular weight is 294.10. Next, coming to the procedure. So, you have now solution 1 that is citric acid solution and you have the sodium citrate. So, Take uh, in a volumetric flask as per the table. So, now what you have to do? You take 400 ml volumetric flask. In each, first you add, first volumetric flask, add 16 ml of citric acid from the stock solution and 4 ml of sodium citrate. Make it to 100 ml. In a, similarly, in the second volumetric flask, take 12 ml of citric acid and 8 ml of sodium citrate, make it to 100 ml. Similarly, 8 ml of citric acid and 12 ml of sodium citrate. In the third volumetric flask, make it to 100 ml. Similarly, fourth one, so 4 ml of citric acid and 16 ml of sodium citrate. So, you have different concentration of buffers now and the pH of the above solution is measured using pH meter. So, calculate the molar concentration 
of acid and salt for each okay each solution how much concentration of citric acid is there how much concentration of sodium citrate is there and finally find the ratio of salt and acid salt divided by acid and log of salt by acid finally plot graph of log salt by acid versus on x axis and ph on y axis that is the measured ph then pk is the intercept value so when ph becomes equal to pka okay that time the ph is log of salt by acid is zero or concentration of salt and acid becomes equal log 1 so then it is a log 1 is zero so that time ph is equal to pk as per henderson hasselbalch equation so pk of the given acid is 4.9 when we conduct the experiment so here is the table whatever i explained so you can see the table that is volume of citric acid taken and volume of sodium citrate then molar concentration of citric acid so how much is present and molar concentration of sodium citrate then salt concentration divided by acid concentration log salt by acid and measure the ph so we measure the ph of all four solutions by using ph meter then you plot measured ph on y axis and log of salt by acid on y x axis then draw the plot so where when the ph log of salt by acid is zero so that time pk is equal to ph value okay here you can see so here pk you got is 4.9 so this is how we are determine the pk of weak acid so this you can report so next coming to preparation of buffers and ph measurement so here we have to prepare buffers that is citrate buffer and measure the ph of this solution so what are buffers buffers are solutions which stresses the changes in ph upon addition of small quantity of acid or alkali when you add small quantity of acid or alkali there is no change in the ph in buffer solutions this resistance to change in ph is known as buffer action a combination of weak acid and conjugate base or weak base its conjugate acid acts as a buffer so weak acid and its conjugate base or weak base and its conjugate acid they will act as a buffer the ph of buffer solution and the change in ph upon addition of small amount of acid base may be calculated by henderson hasselbalch equation that is ph is equal to pka plus log of salt by acid so here a combination of weak acid and its conjugate base we are using that is citric acid and sodium citrate so similarly other examples are acetic acid and sodium acetate boric acid and sodium borate by knowing the pk of weak acid the ph of the buffer system can be calculated using Henderson Hasselbalch equation. So already we have determined the pK in earlier experiment. It is 4.9. One log of salt by acid is we have calculated. Thereby we can calculate the pH. So how to go about the experiment? So same same way, same solutions we have to take. Already we have measured the pH. but we have to compare with the measured ph okay substitute the pk value and 
dark sort of by acid concentration then you will get the calibrated pH value. So whenever we are using the pH meter it should be calibrated by using standard buffers pH 479. So this is the report. It is calibrated pH from the buffer equation and measured pH from the instrument. So this already we have measured in earlier experiment, this same value. But this is from the pK value we have substituted. It is 4.9 and we got this value. Okay, it's all about two experiments. Thank you.